Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create a award intro animation inside HitFilm Pro. I believe you can achieve the same effect with HitFilm Express as well. We'll be using some text effect presets that are only available in HitFilm Pro. Apart from that, I think you can just follow along this tutorial with HitFilm Express as well. Anyways, so let's have a look at the preview and get started. I'm going to go to file, create a new composition. So I'm going to save this and set the frame rate to 30 and click on OK. Let's create a new composite shot and the duration will be 5 seconds long, 920, 30 FPS and click on OK. And we can also rename this to main. This will be our main comp. Let's start by adding our text. So I'm going to create a new layer click on text so I'm going to quickly set up my text so I'll just probably fast forward this portion Alright, so this is my text. I'm using two fonts. One is called Bbass and the other is Baskerville Old Face. Once you have your text, then we'll be applying a radial gradient to the two text layers that are in the middle. I'm going to select uh, text layer 2. Go to controls, effects, click on the plus and search for a radial uh, gradient. Under gradients and fills, radial gradient, click on that. I'm going to expand this and I'm going to just increase the gradient scatter so it get this kind of noise in it and we can also uh, play around with the size to get a nice and smooth gradient I'm going to copy this gradient and paste it on the layer number 3 control V and just play around with this you can just select all of your layers hit control m to create a composite shot and call it text click on ok you can close out of this and in our main comp we will add a great layer and we can rename this to rays so we'll be creating our light rays in the effects click on the plus icon and search for rays and you will see light rays click on that to apply it and in the light rays expand it and set the radius to the maximum value and you can play with the intensity as well I'm going to also add a fractal noise effect on this and I'm going to make sure that it is on top of the light rays now we'll use the fractal noise to animate our light rays so expand it and create a keyframe on C at the first frame move to the end and change it to something like 15 or 16 so you will already see your animation i'm also going to go to transform and scale this up as well to maybe around 500 All right so here we have our animation and i'm going to right click blend and set this to add so this is what we have so far okay then we are going to create a new grade layer and i'm going to apply glow effect on this so your glow click on add and you can see we already have this nice glow in our animation so if you take it off this is before and this is after but you can still play with this you if you want to you can increase the intensity a bit maybe decrease the radius all right that looks cool then we are going to add another grade layer and i'm going to rename the previous one to glow and the new one we are going to rename it to dot so we'll be adding some dirt effects so we'll good effects and search for i believe it is lens dirt yeah lens dirt click on that to apply it expand it and set the blur amount to the maximum value so yeah once you do that then you can just play with the different settings like intensity and when you increase that you will see these you know lens dirts on your screen you can play with the threshold and all the different settings 
and that's a bit too much so we will reduce the intensity and increase the threshold a bit so it will only appear when there is too much brightness in our scene and that just gives more life in our animation now oh, I also forgot to add the text animations this is the first thing that you have to do so once you create your text in the effects you have in the animation folder all these different text effects these are only available in HitFilm Pro but in, in, if you're using HitFilm Express you can create or animate some uh, you know opacity values or rotation or maybe scale values and you can just come up with a different animation or maybe you can apply some blur and animate that as well but in the animation preset you already have some cool animations so I'm going to use some of these so maybe I'll use uh, let's see if this is randomized reveal yeah so it just reveals your text randomly and I want the duration of the reveal length to be around 45 ish so it takes its time to reveal the text and uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it on all of these layers all right so randomize reveal and I'm going to just change the you know randomize the reveal length and change the seed amount as well just you know to get get a random animation right so this is what we have so far and I'll also add one more um, it's called scale I believe if I can just find it uh, zoom in yeah zoom in this applied onto the very first layer and see it in effect so it does that um, I'm going to copy this and paste it on all of the other three layers so every layer will have the same zoom in but I want to just increase the ruby length on this so maybe around 36 and do it the same in here the layer 1 33 and change it so it's gonna look something like that I don't like the last one so I'm going to select the last layer we have randomized reveal so I can change the seed amount to a different value so that I can get a different animation yeah that looks much better so if you close out of this go back to our main comp this is what you are going to have so far all right that looks pretty cool and after you edit that layer you can create another layer another create layer and we can call this flares okay and effects click on that and search for flare uh, we have light flares we can we can click on that and then I'm going to change the flare type. I use this one, but you can just use any one that you want and you can just position it anywhere that you want. So we can just start from this point and we can also animate it. So we can go to hotspot position and yeah, so we also have to fade it in and out so we can create an opacity keyframe go back and set this to zero so it just smoothly comes in because we don't want it to be it to reveal from the very beginning we want it to come slowly when the text appears right so in the light flares we can create a keyframe on hotspot position and we can move to the end and change the center value to the right or not too much so let's just since this is just a five second animation I don't want it to move too fast so you can just play this and this is what you have right and notice the color 
is different from what we have in the text color so you can go to global and i believe you can change your color here uh, and you can control the amount of brightness and saturation um well let's just reduce this for now All right so this is how it is going to look i can just play with the positioning of the keyframes until you're satisfied with the look all right so after you add the flares then we can add another create layer and uh, this is an morphic i believe this is not available in hit film express um, you go to effects click on the plus icon and search for an morphic lens flares and you get these cool light streaks at the top so we can um, play with different settings the the default one looks nice too so we can just maybe slightly decrease the intensity and play with the threshold as well oh, this is cool so you can see that the possibilities are really endless so we can just play around with different settings right so um alternatively you can also add some stock footages that you can get from youtube or you can go to this website uh, mitchmartinez.com and you will have the particles section the particle embers particle snow and you can just download these stock footages and uh, you know use them in your footages as well um but don't forget to create the author as well so yeah we can do that create a new create layer and this will be our color correction and on this one we will apply curves effect and the curves we will in the rgb channel it which is selected we'll just crank that up the red channel will crank that up green channel we will crank that up and the blue one will just lower that down right something like that I think that's a bit too much. So yeah, maybe something like that. So now if you play your animation, this is what we have created so far. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, about the stock footages, I also have the stock footages from the same website that I just showed you earlier. You can drag this, put it on the top, and it's a 4K footage, so you can we'll transform and scale this down to 50. And you can right click and go to blend and set this to so you can use that you can also move this layer under your dirt layer dirt create layer and just will make your animation much better so i think that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new if you did do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one